Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can connect high level to MailChimp so that all those contacts and leads you're generating, you have in high level, can automatically get synced into MailChimp. You can even have tags in high level sync to tags in MailChimp. That means that you can tag any of your contacts or leads in high level and it's gonna trigger an automation in MailChimp, a drip campaign. It's super easy, it's super powerful. Let me show you how. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and you're gonna click Get Syncs. It's gonna ask you to sign in or sign up for API Nation. An API Nation account is totally free to sign up. You won't pay until you actually subscribe to a plan. So you can sign up, poke around and see what kind of automations you could be using. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. I'm already a member here, so I'm gonna click Sign In. Great, now you see a ton of different apps here you can automate marketing apps, real estate apps, productivity apps. I'm gonna come down here to MailChimp and click on that. And you can see, you can sync MailChimp with a ton of different apps. A lot of different opportunities here for automation. First, we're gonna connect our MailChimp account. So I'm gonna click on Connections and I'm gonna hit Add Account. So to add my MailChimp account, it's just gonna ask for a label and that's just gonna be the name of your MailChimp account or the name of the owner of the MailChimp account or the office who uses it. I'm just gonna put my name in, that's totally fine. And this is just if you're using multiple MailChimp accounts. So maybe you're managing MailChimp accounts for yourself, your team, uh, another business, that's all this is. So I'm gonna name this Gabeco because I only have one. And then I gotta get this API key from MailChimp. To get that, just hop into MailChimp you're gonna click on your little icon up here in the top right corner and click on profile. Then you're gonna see here under extras, the API key. So I'll click on that. You're gonna have a bunch of different API keys if you've created them. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one right now and I'm gonna call this Gabe Co Key. Generate the key. There it is, I'll copy it, go back to API Nation and paste it in. Hit connect. There we go. You can see I now have my MailChimp account added. Let's go back to integrations. That's it. That's how you connect high level. Today we're connecting high level. So I'm going to come down here to H for high level. Click on that. And you can see there's two syncs available high level to MailChimp and MailChimp to high level. High level to MailChimp is the most popular one. That means every lead you're getting in high level is also getting put on that email newsletter list in MailChimp. So let's start with that one. I'm gonna activate it. And the first thing you're gonna do is connect high level. To do that, you just hit this connect button. It's gonna take you out to high level where you're just gonna sign in. It's gonna add the account, that's all it takes. I've already done it, so we have it here. I'm gonna select that account. And then we just connected MailChimp, so that account is right here. I'm gonna select that. That's it, we've connected both apps. Now we're gonna do a little bit of configuration setting this thing up. So in high level, do I want all the contacts that are currently in there synced into MailChimp or just any contacts I add from today going forward? If you want all the contacts, go ahead and check that box. If you just wanna start paying attention from now on, uncheck the box. As they're getting added into MailChimp, go ahead and select the audience you want these contacts added to. I got a real estate audience here. And then if they already exist in MailChimp, let's say I got a bunch of people in high level, I'm dumping in MailChimp, but I've already got a few of them in MailChimp, then you can tell it, don't overwrite those people in MailChimp, just go ahead and add any extra fields. I'm gonna hit subscribe and that's gonna create the sync. Here we go, the sync is now created. There's a couple of things I wanna show you here before we activate it. Two things really, one is the filter. So if you wanna put an additional filter on this, exactly who's getting put into MailChimp, you can do that. So you can come in here and these are all the things you can filter on from high level, including any custom fields you've set up. So if you wanna filter based on city, you could do that. And a reason people might do this is maybe you have different email campaigns for different cities, different neighborhoods, uh, different situations. So you can say, I'm gonna set this up for city equals Santa Barbara. And then you would put them on maybe like the Santa Barbara audience or something like that. Totally up to you. You could also do it by tags. Tags is pretty common, filter by tags. And then you just have to tag it MailChimp and then it'll get synced into MailChimp. So you could do that. Most people just go no filter. I want all the contacts in here as soon as possible. 
build out that email newsletter list. Let's come on down here to mapping. This is super awesome. You can see the emails going to email. The tags from high level are going to the tags in MailChimp. That is great. That means you can tag somebody in high level and using the tags in MailChimp, trigger a campaign for that person. So you don't have, have to leave high level. Just slap the tag on them and know MailChimp is gonna start putting them on an email drip campaign. Anything else you wanna add, just go ahead and grab it here. You would just hit the plus sign, search for the field you want, and then just go ahead and enter it in there. Date of birth goes in birthday, perfect. Once you're all set, go ahead and hit activate this sync. So there we go, we have one sync running, high level to MailChimp. Now let's go the opposite direction. So I'm gonna click on that MailChimp logo. It's a nice shortcut to get back to all the MailChimp syncs. And then I'm gonna come down here to high level again. And this time we're gonna go the opposite direction. So MailChimp back to high level. You would do this if you happen to be using MailChimp. Maybe you set up some pop-up forms using MailChimp or a landing page at some point. Or maybe you have an email newsletter list already and you've always wanted to get them back into a CRM like high level, a system like high level. So you can start following up with them in there, calling them, texting them, doing all that stuff to create those deals. So those are the two reasons you do it. If you're getting leads on a landing page or a pop-up somewhere, or you already have a bunch of leads in MailChimp, you wanna get them into high level to start working again. So you're gonna choose where those leads are, decide if you wanna sync all contacts, probably because you're trying to get those in there. And then in high level, do I wanna overwrite or do not overwrite? Totally up to you, hit subscribe. You're gonna see the same things here. The difference here is on the filter. Now it's gonna be filtering on MailChimp fields. So if you have to filter on any of those fields in MailChimp, including the custom fields, you can. Status, image, last name, any of that stuff. And then finally the mappings, just double check the stuff that's coming over from MailChimp. Make sure it's going where it needs to go in high level. This all looks pretty good. I might want to say for source, I don't want to say these are coming from MailChimp. That's nice. And tags, maybe I want to tag it as MailChimp. So this looks good, I'll activate this sync. So there we go. I now have two syncs running, MailChimp to high level and high level back to MailChimp. Full to MailChimp. Now all your contacts are getting added to your email newsletter. Any tags you're making in high level are also getting tagged in MailChimp. You're gonna easily stay top of mind with these beautiful MailChimp email newsletters, and you're gonna create more deals. If you have any questions or need any help setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, we're API Nation, and we are connecting the world's applications.